Hello, Hello everyone. Hello. And welcome to Themed Bingo Live from Heath and Cumbria. And today we are playing... Um, Endangered Animals Bingo. Yeah. So this is from the Themed Bingo series. Um, as always, if you're on site or a Heathlands member, you can ask one of the staff for a game sheet. If not, and you're somewhere else in the world, then you can buy the game from most good bookshops and game shops, and the game sheets come inside. And as always, make sure you you um, share the all the endangered species with love and yeah, treat them. them with love, even though they're translucent. <laughs> That is a floating eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should, should we get into it, Mark? Just go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. So we'll go over to the game view so you can see the tiles. Uh, we do have a fact book this week, which I put down somewhere. I lost, which is here. I've got it. So without further ado, Mark, would you like to draw the first tile? Um, sure. And we'll go. And as always, um, we'll um, we'll draw five. Each round we'll have five, and then we'll go on to the recap. 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 Michael. <laughs> as pre-recorded by Michael. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, the first one. Is Sir David's long beaked akinda? Sir David's long beaked akinda. Okay. The world's smallest akinda, endemic to the Cyclops Mountains of Papua New Guinea, and is named after Sir David Attenborough. Their tongue has spikes to help them feed on worms and larvae. They roll up into a ball when threatened. There you go. And a kinder. So David's long beaked uh, a kin a kinder, I think. A kinder. Yeah. And I, I had a feeling it was a David Attenborough. Well, it wants to do with wildlife, especially endangered wildlife, it generally is. Of course. Right, so second one is um honestly when I when I show this to you, I ain't lion. <laughs> lion. The lion is the largest cat found on the African savanna. They're the only fields to live oh yeah. Yeah, the only felids. Felids? Felides. Felides to live in pride. Sometimes numbering up to 30. Adult males weigh up to 200 kilograms and have a thick brown or black mane. Uh, there we have the lion. Next up is the northern hairy-nosed wombat. A northern hairy nosed wombat. The largest of Australia's wombat species, weighing up to 40 kilograms. They are heavily built and have broad muzzles with fine whiskers. These wombats are nocturnal and have an excellent sense of smell to make up for their poor eyesight. What remains in the wild population inhabits just two reserves in Queensland. Wow, not many left at all. Yeah, and as always, remember, don't wombat it, near cat it. <laughs> Simples. Next up, we have the Philippine Eagle. This giant eagle, eagle grows up to 86 to 102 centimetres in length and has a vast wingspan of 1.8 to 2.2 metres. 
It is also known as the monkey-eating eagle, although its primary prey is the Philippine flying lemurs and sometimes other birds of prey. Wow. Well, An eagle that eats lemurs. Yes, yeah, eats lemurs and other birds of prey. Is that the funky lemur? The Philippine lemur. And I'm moving well, on. The Philippine to the... eagle. The Philippine eagle, it, lemur was the one that got eaten. All right. The last one of this round. The Sumatran elephant. A Sumatran elephant. The smallest of the Asian elephant subspecies. Their shoulder heights are 2 to 3.2 metres and they weigh 2,000 to 4,000 kilograms. Sumatran elephants have small rounded ears and the females rarely have tusks. They are found only in the most tropical forests of the Londonesian Lund island of Sumatra. Londonesian, that's a good word. Sumatran so, elephant. Is that five? Yeah, that's five for Re this round. Cap, so... cap, 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 Re cap, 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 cap. Thank you, Michael. So first up was Sir David's long-beaked akinda. Then we had your not lying lion. Third, we had the don't wombat it, meerkat it, northern hairy nosed wombat. Then we had the Philippine Illegal Eagle. Which eats monkeys. Which eats, which eats monkeys. Yeah. And then finally, the Sumatran Elephant. Got there eventually. So now moving on to round two. First up is the Brazilian three banded armadillo. Brazilian three banded armadillo. Epidemic to the eastern Brazil. This is the only armadillo that can roll into a complete ball. They are heavily armoured with a leathery yellow brown shell. There you go, it can roll into a ball. And there's a nice leather jacket. Yeah. The Brazilian free banded armadillo. Next up is the Vancouver Island Marmot. Vancouver Island Marmot. Canada's most endangered mammal is epidemic to the high mountains of Vancouver Island. It has a squirrel-like body and is about the size of a domestic cat. There you go. That's kind of squirrel cat. Oh. Wouldn't want to keep it as a pet then. Maybe, maybe not. Next up is the mountain pygmy possum. Mountain pygmy possum. Australia's only marsupial to hibernate which it does under the snow for up to seven months. It is mouse-shaped, weighing only 45 grams. 
these tiny possums are only found in the mountain regions of Borgong High Plains and Mount Buller in Victoria and Mount Koskuko in the North South Wales, in New South Wales, sorry. The Mountain Pygmy Possum. Next up is, I don't know if you can see it or not, we have the, the sea otter. <laughs> oh, the puns are coming thick and fast. Sea otters are found in kelp forests in the temperate to the subpolar waters of the North Pacific and spend all of their time in the ocean, even when sleeping, it says. There you go. The sea otter. And then finally, the most common known animal, and you have to stretch your neck out to get it, the giraffe. The giraffe. Giraffes are the tallest terrestrial animal. They live on the savannas in the light Akeka woodlands from Chad to the south of Africa. Giraffes have an extremely long neck and legs and usually two horns, sometimes three. Oh, there you go. The giraffe. So that's the end of this round, so can we please have? Recap, 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 recap. Thank you. So first up we had the Brazilian free-banded armadillo Rolls up into a ball, has a nice leather jacket. Yep. Next up, the Vancouver Island Marmot is about the size of a... Squirrel. A squirrely cat. A squirrely cat. Don't know if you want to have it as a pet or not, but that's up to you. The Mountain Pygmy Possum. Playing possum, as always. The don't know if I if you can see it or not. The sea otter. Yeah. And finally, stretch your neck out. The giraffe. So now moving on to yep. round number three. First up is Hector's Dolphin. Hector's Dolphin, All right, let's find that one. One of the world's smallest and rarest marine dolphins, rarely exceeding 1.5 meters. There are two subspecies found only in New Zealand, South Island, uh, Hector's dolphins off South Island coast and Maui dolphins off the west coast of the North Island. So tiny dolphins. Hector's dolphin. Uh, next up is um, I don't know if you can you can see it on one of my guest house head or not. It's the humphead <laughs> rassle. This enormous coral reef rassle weighs up to one hundred and eighty kilograms, and can live for around thirty years. It has a prominent bulge on its forehead and a very thick lips. There you go. Looks like it's crossed, doesn't it? Just so clear, it's not. It's not him. It's not him that's cross. Even though, even though you can't see it because he's wearing a visor. 
Baham had Rasa. Next up, the California Condor. The biggest bird in North America with a wingspan of 2.8 meters. The largest wild population is found in California. There you go. That's why it's called the California Condor. Because it's from California. California Condor. Next up is... So I need a bit of help pronouncing this. It's Seychelles Paradise Flycatcher. Yeah, flycatcher. Epidemic, endemic only to the venue nature reserve on La Duigue in the Seychelles, although they have been introduced to the Dennis Islands in an attempt to increase the numbers. There you go. There's not many at all. The Seychelles, Seychelles by the seashore. Oh, nice flycatcher. And then the last one of this round. The black-footed ferret. A black-footed ferret. The only ferret native to North America. It has been reintroduced into the wild in Wyoming, South Dakota, Montana, and Arizona. So they're starting to get it back into the wild. So building up its numbers. The black footed ferret. So that is the end of this round. So how about we cap 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 Thank you. First up was Hector's Dolphin. Very small fella. Um, see this. The humphead rasa, which is not one of them. Yeah, the grumpy fish. Don't call Benny a grumpy fish. <laughs> <laughs> the California condor, native to California. The Seychelles, Seychelles, by the seashore, Paradise Flycatcher. And then finally, the black-footed ferret. Okay, what you got next? Uh, round three now? Uh, round, round, four. round number four. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, round round number four. First up, we have the vaquita. The vaquita. Vaquita. This tiny porpoise is the world's rarest marine mammal. It's endemic to Mexico's Gulf of California, but is now found in only one small area of San Philip. Ooh, so only found in one area. That is pretty rare. Did you say it was a type of porpoise? Yes. Porpoise. He did it on porpoise. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> The uh, Vaquita. Next up, we have the Okapi. Okapi. Nicknamed the Zebra Giraffe. 
or the white horizontal stripes on its hind quarters and front legs. The remaining occupy population inhabits isolated rainforests in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Okapi. Looks like it's got leggings under it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. Zebra leggings. Next up is the Mediterranean monk seal. A Mediterranean monk seal. Once widespread in beach colonies, this seal is now reduced to subpopulations in the northern and eastern Mediterranean and the northest, northernest Atlantic. They have a soft black and dark grey hair. Mm. So once was loads of them, now not so much. I seal the approval. <laughs> Mediterranean monk seal. Next up is the giant guitar fish. The giant guitar fish belongs to the ray family, but has a shark-like appearance. With an elongated snout, tail, dorsal fins, and a black cross between its eyes. Black cross between its eyes. There you go. It's a ray, but looks like a shark. Well, rays are kind of sharks, anyway. The giant guitar fish. And then the final one of this round. The Beluga Sturgeon. Beluga Sturgeon can live in fresh water and salt water and have whisker like barbels on their long snouts. They can grow to a formable size and weight they are able to reach maturity before they're eaten by people because beluga sturgeon that's what that's what they use for caviar isn't it i don't know that yeah i think it's i think that's caviar might be wrong but i think it is well i've never eaten caviar so they're just like little salty balls Let's not let's let, 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 let's not start on that on this channel. The Beluga Sturgeon. So recap, cap, 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 recap, cap, cap, recap, cap, 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 cap. Thank you. He did it on point points. The Vaquita. Then we have the Okapi. It has my seal of approval. The Mediterranean monk seal. The giant guitarfish. And finally, the Beluga Sturgeon. Possibly caviar? We don't know. Yeah, maybe lied, I don't know. <laughs> so now moving on to round number five. First up. I don't know if you can spot this or not. The Philippine spotted deer. Also known as the Visayan spotted deer. They inhabit the rainforests 
of the Visayan Islands in the Philippines. They are a short-legged deer and have dark brown coat with white buff spots. Spotted deer. You can spot the difference. Next up, we have the African wild dog. Also known as a painted dog, African wild dogs have dark fur with white and yellow patches on two coats are exactly, or no two coats are exactly the same. They live in packs of 10 to 40. The African wild dog. Do, 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 it's a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> Tigers are found in the forests and grasslands of Southeast Asia, India, Nepal, Bhutan, Sumatra, Russia, and China. They are the largest cat species and weigh between 90 to 300 kilogram. There we have the eye of the tiger. Next up, we have the pygmy hippopotamus. Pygmy hippos are smaller and more solitary and reclusive than common hippos reaching around 75 to 100 centimetres and weighing 180 to 275 kilogram. So just tiny little things. Maybe like a pig-like sort of size. It's still quite big, really. The pygmy hippopotamus. And then the last one on this round now, I don't know about you, but I'm turning red. The red panda. Red pan pandas are the size of a domestic cat with a bear-like body. They have red fur, white markings on their head, and a bushy ringed tail. And Disney made a cat in a while. Uh, yeah, of course. Turning red. So that's the end of this round. Recap, 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 recap. Thank you. So first up was, um, can you spot the difference? The Philippine Spolidia. Like a it. The African wild dog. The Eye of the Tiger? The Pygmy Hippopotamus? And then finally, turning red, the Red Panda. Right, what you got for us next? Um, now moving on to round six. Yeah. First up, we have Ridgeway's Hawk. Ridgeway's Hawk. Okay. This small hawk measures 36 to 41 centimetres in length. Its plumage varies from grey to brown, with white barbing on the belly and tail. There you go. The Ridgeway Hawk. 
watching you like a fridge. No, like a hawk. Well, that's not the sign for hawk. That's the sign for fridge. <laughs> what? Is it? <laughs> yes, it is. Fridge and ice. Go on. Move along. <laughs> it's a, it's a spiff use it. Um, sorry, guys, I haven't done sign language for a while. So. <laughs> He's watching you like a fridge. <laughs> like a bird. <laughs> anyway, moving on. We have the Malayan tapia. The largest of the five species of tapir, Malayan tapir, have a heavy barrel-shaped body and a distinctive black and white hair. They are very distinctive. But they are... Yeah, you, you would think that was a pig if you took the head off. Wait, well, if you, fair, if fair. you didn't see its head. Hold on, very, very what? What? Very, very... You said very what? Uh, I don't think I said very. The largest of five species of tapir and have a heavy barrel shaped body. Oh, I'm daydreaming. You are. <laughs> the, the Malayan tapir. Sorry, I don't know where my he head is at today. Plus I'm, plus, I'm maybe missing someone today. I'm right here, Mark. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. Oh. Come on, move on. Uh, okay, so getting carried away. So next up, we have the the axolotl questions. Axolotl questions. Ask, ask Nickname the walking fish. The axolotl is actually an amphibian. That occurs naturally only in the canals at Exchimilol Lake and Chalco and Lake Eximio in southern Mexico City. The axolotl question. Yeah, I'm sure I pronounced them names wrong. X O C H I M I L O. Axchimilol. Next up, we have the pygmy three-toed sloth. Pygmy three-toed sloth. The pygmy three-toed sloth, its population is restricted to the mangrove forests covering 4.3 kilometers, 1.3 miles squared, of the islands of Escado del Vargas of the Panama coast. So yeah, it lives in less than a two mile square. That's the model. Plus they're the most like chilled animals out there. Yeah, very much so. The pygmy free toad sloth. And then for the last one of this round is the peacock tarantula. Peacock tarantula inhabits deciduous forests in southern India. It has a metallic blue hairs and is also known as the Gucci Sapphire Ornamental. The Gucci Sapphire Ornamental. There you go. It's a shiny spider. The peacock tarantula. So that's it. For this round, so recap, 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 rec
the Malayan tapir. The Axel so questions. Let's go up questions. The pygmy free toed sloth. And then finally, the shiny spider, the peacock tarantula. So we're almost halfway through now, so people should start to be getting lines. So round number seven. And first up is the Southern Bluefin Tuna. A fast swimming fish found in the waters of, southern hem of the Southern Hemisphere. Southern bluefin tuna migrate between tropical and cool temperatures in the search of food. So they go from hot to cold just to get a dinner. Oh. And then we catch them and put them in tuna tins. <laughs> and put on tetters. <laughs> the southern bluefin tuna. Next up is the polar bear. Polar bear. The world's largest land carnivore, weighing 350 to 700 kilograms. Polar bears spend most of their time on sea ice, hunting for seals, and are excellent swimmers thanks to their water repellent fur. The polar bear. Next up is Gravy Zebra. Gravy Zebra. Gravy Zebras are taller than plain zebras. They also have narrower white stripes and a white belly. These herbivores prefer the savanna grasslands and arid areas and can survive up to five days without water. Well, that's pretty good. Gravy Zebra. Next up is the Bactrian camel. Bactrian camels can be distinguished by their two humps. They are limited to the Gobi and Taklamaka deserts in Mongolia and Xinjiang. The two humped camel. The Bactrian camel. And then the last one is the Sinai Baton Blue. One of the world's tiniest butterflies, the smallest recorded wing sabang being six centimeters. Its wings are blue to pale gray with black dots and black fringes. Oh, six centimetres, not big at all, is it? The Senai Baton Blue. So that's it for this round. Recap, 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 recap. Very good. First up was the Southern Bluefin Tuna. And we had the Polar bear. Then we had Grevy's zebra. Then 
Then we have the Bactrian Camel. And then finally, Tinai's Baton Blue. So now moving on to round number eight. <laughs> First up is the Iberian Lynx. The Iberian Lynx. Africa. Is the world's most endangered feline. It has twiny fur and black spots, a short tail with a black tip, tufted ears, and a characteristic white beard. It's got a beard. <laughs> the white bearded Liberian lynx. Also available in stores near you. Get it, because lynx. You're talking about the um, body deodorant. Yes, I'm, ta I'm talking about the body deodorant. I'm not saying you can actually get <laughs> a Liberian lynx in store near you. Uh, next up is the orange bellied parrot. An orange bellied parrot. The smallest ground parrots are named for the vivid orange patch on their bellies. They also have a bright green and yellow body, blue wings, and a thin blue line between their eyes. The orange bellied parrot. Next up is the European mink. The European mink is one of the rarest terrestrial carnivores in Europe, with small populations in Spain, France and Romania, Ukraine and parts of Russia. The European mink. Next up is the rusty patched bumblebee. The rusty patched bumblebee. Though this bumblebee is native to eastern Northern America, it is currently limited to 10 US states. The male and worker bees have a rust colored patch on their second abdominal segment. The rusty patched bumblebee. Rusty patched bumblebee. Mm. And then the final one of this round. is you might want to get the nails out the great hammerhead this is the largest of eight species of hammerhead shark reaching lengths of up to six meters they are distinguished by their hammer and sickle shaped dorsal fin the great hammerhead the great hammerhead so that's the last one of this round. Recap, 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 recap. Uh, thank you. And also, um, you might want to attend to the TV because I think we're about to, it's about to switch off. Oh, uh, it's yeah. Well, that's a you problem, not a me problem. Well, <laughs> no, I will sort it though. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. First up was the Iberian lynx. I will leave you the remote just in case. Then we have the orange bellied parrot. The European mink. Mm-hmm. 
Burned it. Where is it? Here it is. Has the telly gone off? Ah, uh, yeah, the telly's gone off. We're back on. Back on there. Uh, yeah, but I can't see myself. The telly went off and on, but you can't see yourself. Just carry on. I'll put it back. Then we had the rusty patched bumblebee. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the great hammerhead. Works well with nails. So now moving on to round number nine. And I think we're over halfway done. Oh, definitely, yeah. On the homeward stretch. First up for this round is the giant panda. Wild giant pandas are restricted to the mountain ranges in the Sushen, Shanix, and Gansu provinces of China. That's the giant panda. The giant panda. Next up is the whale shark. The world's largest shark reaching 10 meters. Its name results from its feeding method of filtering plankton through its mouth, like a whale. So, just eats plankton. The whale shark. Next up is Leah's Macaw. This large blue parrot is also known as an indigo macaw. Leah's macaw are now only found in two colonies in northern Bahia, Brazil, and are usually observed in groups of between 8 to 30. The Leah's macaw. Uh, next up is the Cross River Gorilla. One of two subspecies of Western Gorilla, the other being the Western Lowland Gorilla, restricted to patches of montane bamboo forests above 1500 metres in Nigeria and Cameroon. The Cross River Gorilla. Uh, the final one of this round is... Kozwalski's Horse. Kozwalski's Horse. Considered the last surviving subspecies of wild horse. They are native to Mongolia and are also called Takai. As was his horse. And now it is time for a recap, recap, cap, 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 Then we had Leah's McCall. Then we had the Cross River Gorilla. Is that crossing the river? <laughs> yeah, crossing the river. And then finally, Przewalski's horse. Uh, 
On to round 10, is it now? Yeah, we're moving on to round number 10. And first up, we have the Kakapo. The Kakapo. Kakapo. Epidemic to New Zealand. This is the only flightless parrot. It has a pale, prominent, owl-like face and a large grey back and moss green feathers mottled with yellow and black. The Kakapo. The Kakapo. Kakapo. Next up is Tarzan's Chameleon. Whoa. This chameleon is endemic to a tiny patch of moist forest in Madagascar. It has a spade-like snout and is green to pale yellow in colour. Tarzan's Chameleon. Next up is Hawksbill Turtle. Hawksbill Turtle. The Hawksbill Bill takes its name from the hawk like beak it uses to extract sponges and invertebrate invertebrates from coral reefs. Unique to the hawk bills are the pair of claws they have on each flipper. A hawk billed turtle. It's totally fine. Next up is the staghorn coral. Staghorn coral. This stony coral has a cylindrical antler-like branches capable of growing into fast thicklets up to 1.5 meters. It feeds on algae and plankton and is found in shallow salt water. The Stackhorn Coral. And then the last one at this round is the Koala. Koala. This arboreal herbivorous marsupial is native to eastern and southern Australia and mainly feeds on eucalyptus, the koala. The koala. So that's it for this round. So can we have a recap? Recap, 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 recap. First up, we had the cow. Then we have Tarzan's Chameleon. Oh. Then we had Hawk's Bill Turtle. Totally fine. And we had the Staghorn Coral. And then finally, the koala. koala. So we're now into round 11. Round 11. So this is our last three rounds. I think there's 13 rounds altogether. So first up is the blue whale. A blue whale. The largest animal on Earth reaching 30 metres and 173 tonnes. Blue whales are found in all oceans except the Arctic, but hunting in the 19th and 20th centuries vastly reduced their numbers. Yeah, they used to hunt them for oil. To run lamps and stuff off. Pretty cruel. Yeah, that is pretty cruel.
Next up is the black rhinoceros. A black rhino's hooked upper lip is used for pulling leaves off branches. This distinguishes it from the white rhino, which has a square upper lip for grazing. There you go. The black rhinoceros pulls leaves off trees. Next up is the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> Tasmanian Devils, the largest carnivor carnivorous marsupial, growing to the size of a small dog. They have a large head and sharp teeth, and their fur is dark brown to black, and white stripe across their breast. The Tasmanian Devil. Next up is... The Tap Nwali Orangutan. One of the world's rarest great apes. Confined to the Beitang Tu forests of Sumatra and Indonesia. They have the same long limbs as other Samartan orangutans, but frizzier hair. The Samartan orangutan with frizzy hair. And then moving on to the final one of this round, we have... Saula. 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 This forest-dwelling bovine was only discovered in 1992 and is found in the Annamite Mountains of the Vietnam Lost Borders. Vietnam and Lost Borders. Swalas resemble antelopes with a brown coat and white markings. The Swala. So that's the end of this round. So can we have a... Recap, cap, 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 you. First up, we had the blue whale. Then we had the black rhinoceros. Then we had the Tasmanian devil. Then we had the Tapuali. Orangutan. Orangutan. And then we had Slola. Sola. 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 So two more rounds left. Two more rounds left. This is round number 12. So you all should have lines or houses by now. Yeah. I've just realised because I put this... And last week's show, or last time's show, as viewable for children as well, it's disabled the chat. That's, that's why no one's been commenting. But <laughs> <laughs> well, next time we will add the chat back on. So first up is the Chinese pangolin. The Chinese pangolin has overlapping scales, a long tail, sharp claws, a pointed head and tiny sticky tongue for catching ants and termites. Termites. The Chinese pangolin. Chinese pangolin. Next up is... The Adax. Also known as a white antelope and shrew horn antelope, the Adax are found in the Sahara Desert. Their fur is pale sandy colour, but darkens to grey in brown in and brown in winter. The Adax. And next up is the vampire flying frog. 
The flying frog only occurs in montane cloud forests on the Lang Bayan Plateau and southern Vietnam. The webbings on its fingers and toes allow it to glide between trees. Its name comes from the fang like hooks developed as a tadpole. There you are, the vampire flying frog. If it jumps between trees, that sucks on your blood. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Next up is the Northern Rockhopper Penguin. The smallest Udipets um, crested penguin, weighing around three kilograms. Their torpedo shaped bodies are streamlined for swimming and diving, and a thick layer of fat and waterproof feathers protect them from the cold. The Northern Rock of a Penguin. Then the final one of this round, we have Goldie's Bird of Paradise. This bird of paradise species and it is endemic to the D. Entrasatux islands of Papua New Guinea. The male has a dramatic yellow and dark green feathers and is distinguished by its lavender grey breast and crimson ornamental flank. The golden bird of paradise. So that is the end of this round, so can we have a... Recap, 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 recap. First up was the Chinese pangolin. We had the Adax. Then we had the Vampire Flying Frog. Then we had the Northern Rockhopper Penguin. And then finally, Goldie's Bird of Paradise. So now moving on to the final round. The last four. And the last four. So you all should have lines and houses by now. Well, by the end of this. But by the end of this, you will. And if you don't, then... There's something wrong. Then there's something wrong. You maybe missed part of it. Uh, first up is the Red Wolf. These are the world's most endangered canine. Only, pre only present in the wild in North Carolina in the US. They have reddish twiny fur and a broad muzzle, tall pointed ears and black tipped bushy tail. The Red Wolf. Well... Next we have the Amur Leopard. Amur Leopard. Also known as the Far East Leopard. This is one of the world's rarest cats with only around a hundred individuals in forests of the southernest Russia and northeast China. The Amur Leopard. So the second last one, we have the whoop, whooping crane. The whooping crane is the tallest North African bird. Standing up to 1.6 meters, they are found in the Northwest Territories of Canada and the Gulf Coast of Texas. The whooping crane. The whooping crane. And now the final one of this bingo mm -hmm. is the Tenkyle. 
also known as Scots tree kangaroo. These marsupials are limited to a small mountain forest in the Torricell Mountains of Papua New Guinea. The Tank Isle. The Tank Isle. So we'll do a quick recap. Recap, cap, 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 cap. First up was the Red Wolf. Then we had the Amu Leopard. Then we had the Whooping Crane. And then finally, the Tankile. So, as Mark said, everyone should have house by now. And I do apologise if you've been trying to message us, but apparently it's telling me that the messages are disabled because of the way I set it up. <laughs> so that's my fault, I do apologise. We will, of course, be back in two weeks' time with another bingo for you. And maybe with a server as well. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. So, um, with that said, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.